Yo, what up dudes? All right, so using using the app OnForm, excited to announce a new partnership with them. Uh, pretty easy, super intuitive app that allows for you know mechanical breakdowns, outing breakdowns, drawing on, on the uh, screen, um, etc. So stay tuned for more content with uh, these or with this app. All right, so uh, I wanted to do a mechanical screening on a mechanical explainer video I did the other day pertaining to capturing rotational energy um, via like the arm action, all right? So I've done a lot of stuff on how I don't see fit that the arm itself generates arm speed. Arm speed is generated by the sequences, the timing and the positioning to leverage the arm to maximize the productivity of the body's energy systems and having the arm just basically simply, well, simply, wow, I was sounding so smart. <laughs> simply put, positioning the arm to receive as much energy from the body as possible, all right? So this is uh, gonna be a mechanical screening. Got Zach Wheeler here. Two different types of angles. Um, I wish this angle here on the right was uh, gonna show the, the front foot anchoring down, but it doesn't. Anyways, what we're gonna be looking at is how, like what it actually, what the visual is for capturing rotational energy, all right? So perfect world scenario, and look across the board at guys that throw at extremely high power output. Perfect world scenario, is we have the ability to segment two rotations. This is what creates authentic hip shoulder separation. Now, this a lot of this stuff kind of depends on anatomical structure and you know how uh, how the individual's capacity of the ankle eversion rotation, the way that the individual loads his drive leg is going to have to do with a lot of timing of hip rotation. Um, if you are coming from the ebook, the complete guide to pitching mechanics, we've already kind of dissected all this stuff. If you are not coming from the ebook, stay tuned for that. The robbyroshow.com slash ebooks uh, should be available soon. So again, perfect world scenarios, we segment two rotations, everything up until the point uh, in which we we deliver the ball is the body creating energy, I see fit to talk about like three different energy systems, rotational energy, which is via torque separation accounts for majority of our energy system in the 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 throw itself there's there's ground force energy what we're producing into the ground and then there's forward acceleration energy the energy that um, obviously is is determined by the body's acceleration going down the slope accepting and abiding by gravity okay so in a perfect world scenario we segment two rotations and we create a lot of like rotational energy in our throw all right this is called torque now with this torque, you can see here in the broadcast view, you can even see here on the open side view a little bit, uh, that the hips are gonna initiate rotation somewhat in like the center point of the drive phase. Now this is gonna vary per individual, and you can definitely see it here with that knee kind of going down. Um, Zach Wheeler, he's got a really good drive leg, uh, really good efficient drive leg mechanics. So you're gonna see the heel come up, it's gonna peel off the ground, at maybe a later point than some individuals that are maybe quad dominant loaders. So now you're gonna see this happen here. You can even see the, the kind of jersey tuck. Now the arm's gonna retract and he's gonna anchor down. This is a really good picture because you can see the entire sole of the cleat. You can see the hips well into rotation and I want to say that this one needs to come back a little bit because it's not there yet. Maybe right here. I want to say it's right there. Okay. And so this is what is the segmentation rotational energy piece. Okay. Hips are into rotation. And you're going to notice the trunk, the posture of the trunk is still somewhat very similar to where it started. All right, it hadn't it hadn't really initiated its rotation yet due to the ability to create rotational energy. Now, this is what is the entire talking point of this video in which we discuss 
capturing rotational energy via the arm action. Okay, so the timing and the positioning of the arm action as it pertains to the ability to capture rotational energy. So rotational energy is created and with a guy like Zach Wheeler, he's going to have a high, high amount of rotational energy created due to his ability to segment so well. So, uh, uh, rotational energy or torque is, is for every individual is going to look a little bit different. Some individuals trunk will start to initiate a little bit earlier. The arm action will maybe potentially influence the trunk to want to go early. And then therefore you're going to have a limited amount of rotational energy to capture, but perfect world scenarios. We, we get ourselves into this position by creating, you know, segmentation at the right time, hip rotation mechanics at the right time. So now capturing this rotational energy is we want to position our arm, our hand in a good, good position to be able to receive that energy. Now we talk about arm action mechanics and the potential breakdowns that that comes with is now if our hand is too far disconnected away from our body, if we're dragging behind, if we're not in flexion uh, of the elbow, um, you know, if, if we're inverted W at the timing of, of anchoring down, we're not going to be able to completely consume and grasp all of this rotational energy. All right. Now, Again, arm speed isn't created by the arm alone. We create a ton of rotational energy within this uh, video here with Zach Wheeler. And now the arm gets leveraged. I love the word leveraged. The arm gets leveraged by the body, right? So now the hips are going to complete rotation and that's going to pull the trunk into rotation and that's going to pull the arm into release, right? Big, big difference between early rotation of the upper half of the trunk and then pushing the arm into release by just completing rotation. Think about how in the weight room you're going to be able to pull uh, a, a, a not, a, not only just a, a heavier load, but you're going to be able to pull faster too. So we want to pull and it's going to pull our arm through and then that's, going to, and that's what's going to influence. Come on, one more guy, right? What's happening? Get it there. Yay. Okay. Now that's what's going to influence this acceleration of the arm. All right. Talk about layback, shoulder external rotation. Obviously there's a capacity st uh, structure and all that stuff, but you're going to be able to get into a deeper state or a greater state of layback, external rotation by capturing rotational energy by positioning accordingly of the upper half of the arm action of the hand. Um, not all layback is created equal. This doesn't mean that, you know, you're never going to have soreness or you're never going to have arm injury. There's obviously still stress in the arm, but the way that I look at it is you're, you're using the proper muscles. You're using the proper sequences, um, to be able to do this, you know, over and over again. Uh, so for me, this is a huge piece to throwing velocity command, um, as well as, uh, you know, health. So capturing energy best we can, this is pertaining to the arm action itself and the rotational energy, the capture of rotational energy. There's also, we could talk about, and I probably will do videos in the near future, uh, with, you know, capturing energy elsewhere. I referred to it early in the video with, uh, multiple different types of energy sources throughout the throw itself. And, and there's a lot to be said there too. So special shout out to on form for sponsoring this video and um for having a great great product too so you, i mean as you can see here you can you can do angles and all this stuff you can do straight lines you can do an arrow you can do a circle look at all that cool stuff you can change the the color of all that um yeah on form check it out on your ipad app store google play uh if you're an android guy i don't know but also check out my ebooks page on my website, therobbyrosho.com slash ebooks. And that is it for now. Much love. God bless. Until next time, we'll see you.